Namaste student. Today we are going to see how to find cube root of a number by long division method. So here we have 10 question. I am going to solve 3 problem or rest you need to solve it here. Let's see one by one. First 4096. So if we will take 4096 the way we have taken in a square root pair here we will take three set so from the left hand side sorry from the right hand side so three pair will take here and whatever remain two digit or one digit will take here now your target to find the smallest cube which is equal or less than this first set so here we have only four so here one cube will take the way we have taken a square root two times here we'll take three times and addition rule will be there we're going to add here so and the same number we're going to take here so three would come here one one here one and multiply here one into one into one we'll get here one so result we'll get here after subtracting we'll get three and zero nine six this much is quite similar to your square root second step so let's see the second step what number we're going to take here so here we need to take by heat and trial but there is a, a, a concept which we're going to apply here that leaving the two digit from the behind whatever remain we have 30 so that 30 we're going to take and then divide it by 3 into 1 check it we are getting here 10 so here the digit should be remember whatever digit we're going to take it should be 1 to 9 not more than that so your number should be below 10 not more than 10 that means 9 or less than 9 so by hit and trial what we're going to take here will take 6 okay now if we we'll take 6 so your first step that you have taken 6 so 3 into 1 into you have taken 6 take here 6 and you left this 2 so for that we're going to multiply here 100 so what we're going to get 1800 next step the same number we have taken so we'll proceed here like this so right now we don't know that 6 would be there or not so no need to write here that 666 six, six like that but you multiply here roughly this is your rough work it should be there so that you can get the answer otherwise it's very difficult for you to get so here 666 six, six. so first your number is 36 you take here 36 and then multiply 6 into 6 6 into 6 so 36 into 6 into 6 I'll use your calculator but you need to do you by your own and we will get here 1 2 9 6 now you add this to check here 6 9 zero three and you can see that three zero nine six is same so what we have taken six yes that is correct therefore our answer is q root of four thousand ninety six is sixteen let's see more so here we have like two number if you look at here two number I have the solve part so here one we have taken we make a set three three set but we have only one here so we have taken one adding here we are getting here one after subtracting take this whole set here now you need to think like four if we we'll take a four 
then you need to multiply 34 into 4 into 4 so 34 into 4 into 4 okay and then what is the reason to taking the 4 here so let's see here what we have done leaving these two from the behind we have 17 and what you have taken 3 so here it is not supporting generally so okay we'll see support or not so 3 into 1 so 3 into 1 now you check it here you will get here uh, how many 5 means 5 point something you will get 5 point something that means whatever number we're going to take that means 4 or less than 4 that means here we are getting 5 that means leaving the decimal part take the integral part and check by this 5 or by 4 I have done directly so I got this one 4 but first you need to check with the 5 it is true or not if it is not then we go for your 4 but one more idea you can apply if we take 5 then you will get 15 the 15 into 15 into 15 that 5 5 5 if you multiply you are getting last part that 5 is it same no that means you will not get by taking 5 so take the less than 5 not more than 5 remember so here same concept we have applied for the fifth number 5832 taking three set together and leaving one then add it here three how did you get eight so let's see here we have four eight three two so leave four eight uh, not four eight three two leave three two we are getting forty eight now take this three and one so we are getting here again that is how many I can see here 1 and 6 16 so it is two digit number that means your number should be less than 10 that means 1 to 9 so any number can be possible it may be 9 it may be 8 it may be 7 so by hit and trial let's try here so we go with the last here and we'll try to think that if it is 2 and if we think about the 8 q then we are getting 512 yes quite same so you can think from there also so take 8 then 38 into 8 into 8 multiply here next 3 into 1 into 8 so we are getting 3 into 1 into 8 and 100 would be multiplied in each case remember and then you add it you are getting same thing so next next we proceed we'll see six number so let's see here what we have we have one two one six seven make a pair not pair set of three number so whatever remain we'll take here now Which number cube is very close to 12? That is 2. Yes, 2 into 2 into 2. Here, 2 cube will give you 8. And if we we'll add here, we'll get 6. Subtract it here, we'll get 4. And take this whole set 1, 6, 7. Now, look at here, we have 3. And last, not 3, last digit is 7. So, by hit and trial also you can think or leave last two digit what we have 41 take 41 denominator take 6 into 2 so 41 by 12 so it will give you what that is your you can think it here 12 is your 48 that may be your less than 4 less than 4 remember 4 cannot possible why because uh, 12 4 is 48 and it is 41 so it is 
in between 3 and 4 that means 3 point something so we'll not go for decimal part we'll go for your integral part that means we'll try to take with 3 so if we'll take here 3 then you need to go with 3 right now we don't know but we'll try to think like that, that we have 3 so 6 to 3 into 3 into 3 so what result will you going to get here that is your 957 and 56 okay so next uh, next what we're going to do we'll multiply 6 into 2 into what we have taken 3 so 6 into 2 into 3 and 100 so here 6 is 36 and here 2 0 add them 7 6 11 4 you can see that 4167 so 4167 and here we are getting 0 if you want to wish you can add here no problem so here we are getting 9 and 6 so therefore our answer is q root of 1 to 167 is 23 okay next we'll enter into the last one let's see 262144 262144 okay so we'll make three set so 144 and 262 now cube you need to think about the cube so here which one you can see 6 q is very close to your 262 so we go with 6 q you need to mark this part remember okay so we'll take here 6 6 6 6 here add here we'll get 18 and here 2 1 6 yet 6 will get and we'll get here 4 and remain part we'll take here now I'm going to think we'll leave this part 44 take this one 4 6 1 denominator 18 into 6 and if we divide it you can see that your result is approximately Okay, let me do this with the calculator. That four point two six something. That means your result may be four. That means here you will get four or less than four, not more than that. So now we'll go with four. So we'll take here four, four, four. So here 184 into 4 into 4, one result will get another 18 into 6 into 4 and then 100. So if we we'll multiply here, so let's get by the help of calculator. So here we are getting this one first. Four three two zero zero two nine four four. Now, if you we'll add it, you can see that you are getting four four one six four. So, which is same. That means here we have four to four six one four four. Remainder is true. Therefore, you can say that Q root of 262144 is 64. I hope you people have understood. Thank you.